Hi, my name's Chris Ryder and this is my video on how to remove the rear heater and aircon unit out of your T5 shuttle, caravel, combi, whichever model you've got. Uh, these are the steps that you have to do it and I have a quick video now on how to identify if it's got aircon. This is the rear heater aircon unit um, you can see I've removed all the trim normally this big duct here is disappearing up there from there to there now the first job you need to do is decide is work out whether or not it's got air conditioning two ways of doing this that sticker there I reckon if it says HVAC that stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. If it's got a sticker that says HVAC on it, then the AC will tell you that it's got air con. Uh, however, another more foolproof, more foolproof way of checking for whether it's got air con is to see whether or not it's got air con pipes coming into it. And you do that from underneath. So, first thing to do is release the exhaust silencer from this rubber mounting. You push it that way, a bit of WD-40. You can see I've got it temporarily hung up in there, but squirt some, squirt some WD-40 in there, push the whole unit that way. It gets this out of the way, which then allows you to remove, there's normally a metal heat shield here. And you can see that's where it bolts on along there so with this out the way you unbolt the heat shield to get it out the way and you then see pipes here so there you go there's the exhaust to give you a reference there's the exhaust silencer and then you're looking at this point up here now these two pipes that come here are air conditioning pipes if you have these pipes then you have air conditioning um, that's all you need to know for now Read this page. Working on air conditioning is a specialist job, so don't try it yourself. But the next short video tells you what the engineer has to do. This set of pipes here are the aircon pipes. Now, these two valves here are where they gas and degas the system. Now, these two pipes here that disappear down are the ones which go to the back of the engine. You can see they've already been disconnected, but normally, normally they sit behind this pipe junction here. So you can see that these are just plain sleeves here. So what your aircon engineer needs to do is remove the equivalent of these bolts, take the, get these out and replace the shorter, with a much shorter bolt. Uh, and then you're able to reuse these pipes here because these disappear into the cab and this is what provides you with cold air for the front seats, driver seat, passenger seat. So basically you're disconnecting these pipes here which disappear down underneath the engine because these are the ones which take the air con gas to the HVAC unit at the back. The way your heater gets warm is by hot water. Now that hot water is the same water which is pumped around the engine and the radiator. That is also known as the coolant water. In addition, as, as being uh, heated up by being in the engine, there's also an auxiliary diesel heater underneath the floor of the van, which helps keep the water hot so that the rear cab heater gets hotter faster. And that's what this this slide refers to. What you can see here is the heater fitted by Volkswagen to heat that provides heat to the coolant. So this is the heater here. And you can tell it's a heater because this is its exhaust pipe. Now, 
that way is the front that's looking towards the engine so that way is looking towards the back coming from the engine I've got this pair of pipes here and these are for the aircon parallel to it is this pair of pipes here so these this is coolant from the radiator it's part of the radiator water system so these come out one of them comes out of the coolant heater that's what this diesel thing is here this thing is this thing is here is a is the diesel powered heater for the coolant so the coolant is warmed up and it's sent down these pipes here and look there's the aircon pipes as well and they go all the way there's the light so two two pairs of pipes they go all the way down to the back of the van over that way, which is where the HVAC unit is. Whilst you're here, if you're under or wondering, everything under here is standard, standard Volkswagen. Apart from here, that's this lot here is where my Chinese diesel heater goes in. So the diesel heater is in the van under the seat. That's the air intake for the burner of the heater. The burner, not the carrot, not the cabin, and that's the exhaust for the heater with its own little silencer. So, what I'm going to do is I want to remove the aircon pipes and I'm going to remove the water pipes. The aircon pipes have been disconnected already. They've been disconnected in the engine bay by the aircon engineer. So, what I need to do is I'm going to remove these pipes here and in order to buy to bypass these what I'm going to do is I need to connect this pipe to this pipe that's 18 millimeters I measured this with verniers across here so that's 18 mil diameter that's 16 that's 16 and that's 16 and if I'm lucky I'll be able to take this one off completely take this one off here and reconnect it to there so it'll go straight from there to there. Hopefully the standard hose will fit. I've measured it with a tape measure. It's about seven inches long. It's worth a try. First thing, I'm going to drain the coolant first. Okay, later. The actual heating unit is held in place by a bolt at the top here and another one at the side there. So where my screwdriver is pointing, it's in there. Um, and also there's two rubber hoses which join onto it at the back down there. Um, so to remove the heater, you undo this, you undo that one and go back underneath the van and next to the next to where the pipes join in at the bottom there's two hexagon heads i unscrewed them and you'll see why it's a bit odd in a minute so Those aren't normal bolts, they're this very, very coarse thread screw. Now these things don't actually come out, but when you unscrew them, it's liberating this. So step one, remove that bolt up there and the other one at the side. And then step two and th uh, step three is get rid of that one. Undo these two, sorry. You undo these two bolts. So these are the last two that you undo. And that seems to free, by unscrewing these, you free the unit from this mounting here. Now normally you won't be, it won't be as free as this. What you have to do is spin it out so that the front comes outwards, giving you as much access to to these as possible. Uh, the secret to getting these out is that you squeeze these two with a plier, with a big plier. Now don't try forcing them up the hose. I found it much easier to force it down this pipe here. And then you just pull these rubber hoses upwards and off.
Right, now that you have diverted the hose and that you have checked that the hose isn't leaking, uh, the next task is to remove the pipes from underneath the van. Uh, I didn't actually make a video of this part because, well, I was stuck doing it and got quite engrossed in it. Um, if you're lazy, you don't have to do this. Uh, you could just cut off the loose ends of the pipes, which stops them from rattling around and banging against the bodywork. But in all honesty, doing it properly took me less than an hour. And here's the sequence in which to do it. Firstly, split the pipes. Uh, follow the instructions that I've written out here, but basically, you know, with a set of spanners to unscrew the aircon pipes and with the pliers to release the water pipes, you will be able to separate the pipes so that you've got a front section of the water hoses and the aircon pipes and a back section of the water hoses and the aircon pipes. Next thing, if you haven't already got the thing up on jacks, you should remove the right rear wheel and remove the black plastic wheel arch liner. This exposes some of the mounting bolts which hold the pipes to the bodywork. And in my case, I find myself freeing the pipes off by feeding them out through the wheel arch. With the inside of the wheel arch removed, the plastic liner, you can now see the, wheel, the hoses which go off into the cabin itself to the heater. So what you now need to do is get inside the van and push those hoses downwards through the wheel arch. In my case, there are some big foam blocks which held those hoses, hoses in place. Those foam blocks just break off. Uh, so now you've got all your pipes hanging underneath the bottom of your van. Uh, just undo all the mounting bolts which secure the pipes to the bodywork. Um, start at the front and systematically work your way along all the way to the back. Now for the aircon pipes, undo all of the securing, all the bolts that secure it to the bodywork. And then at the front section, you'll need somebody under the bonnet whilst, one other, whilst another person is underneath. And the person under the bonnet is, try, is to feed the loosened aircon pipes downwards um, there's a lot of things for them to get caught on and snagged on so don't push or pull too hard it's more a case of finding uh, freeing them up and stopping them getting jammed rather than using brute force and ignorance uh, that will release the uh, front section of aircon pipes and they'll come away easily the front section of the water pipes also comes away easily uh, the two rear sections um, I found myself crawling under the van, turning those rear sections through 90 degrees, and then they exited out sideways through from underneath the wheel arch. Uh, and once you've got all of them out, pour yourself your favourite drink and celebrate because you've done the hardest bit of the job. You can now treat yourself. This in front of us is a complete set of pipes that I have removed. Starting at the front, these are the aircon pipes that come from under the bonnet. Feed them all the way back. And then here, this is where the water pipes meet that auxiliary heater that I talked about. And then you follow them here. Now you split them roughly underneath the, uh, the right hand sliding door. You can see that there's some screw terminals there, connectors there for the aircon hoses, and these are standard rubber uh, hoses for the coolant. So there's the coolant hoses that go to the rear wheel arch, and there's the air conditioning hoses which go underneath the van. Other ones, they're the ones next to the exhaust pipe. The final task is just to remove the electrical connectors. And they've all got a security catch. I'm just using a small screwdriver there to pull the tab back. It's a lot easier when you're not holding a phone in one hand. But there you go. Pull it out. There's another one at the top here. I pulled that out already. There's one. There's one here at the at the top here. You have to pull two prongs together there, and same down here. And you just 
and disconnect the wires all the way around, pull them free from the clips. There you go, that's it. One heater motor.